today I'm going to be showing you guys how to make the best ever chicken drumsticks, buffalo chicken drumsticks. And they're going to be crispy. And you know how they're going to be crispy is because we're going to use baking powder. It is the secret ingredient. If you coat the chicken drumsticks in baking powder before you bake them, it will draw the moisture out and make them crispy. I completely forgot to show you guys in the last one how to do this step. So after a half an hour, the wings or drumsticks are in the oven on the bottom rack or like on the bottom fourth of the oven. You're actually gonna take them and bring them up to the upper fourth of the oven. And then you're gonna turn the temperature up from 250 to 425. And after you do that, they're gonna cook for another 30 to 40 minutes. A few minutes and just keep an eye on them. And sometimes it'll be more, or sometimes it'll be just right at that time. But that's what I wanted to show you guys. You can do either drumsticks or wings, and they will both come out amazing and crispy and delicious. So I like to take them out when they have about like five minutes left and just flip them over so that the bottom gets a little crispy too and then I flip them over back over for the last 10 minutes. Okay, now I'm gonna flip them back over so that they get re-crispitized on, oopsie, the front side. And you can use a fork, I'm just like a savage. And Yeah, so I'll throw these bad boys in for another 10 minutes and that will be it. So a total of 40 minutes for the second round. So in the meantime, you can take one or two tablespoons of Kerrygold butter. I'm just going to take one and throw it in here and you just want to melt it. You're going to throw some hot sauce in there when it's done and heat that up as well. So then I just added like the rest of the bottle of the Franks. Not a lot. I mean, it's enough to coat all the wings. That's all you need. And throw that in for another 30 seconds. So with three minutes left, I'm just going to take them out. I'm going to put the sauce on them and then throw them back in for the remaining two to three minutes and they should be crispy and ready to go. I just take them, I recommend getting tongs if you don't have them, they're just so much easier and mess free. And uh, with wings, you can always cut them in half. They're so technically a wing and a drumstick, but I mean, we don't care, we're gonna eat it either way, so. Basically, once we dip them in the sauce, we just throw them back on the sheet and cook them for the remaining couple minutes. So they're all coated up. I'm gonna throw them back in the oven for another minute and they'll be good to go. And this is what they look like when they're done. So I'm just gonna go for two, but oh my God, these are some of the greatest wings. I freaking love them. John loves them too. I'll show you. So the final taste test. Are they good? Keto boyfriend approved, and he's actually doesn't do keto at all. Yeah. <laughs> but they're really good. <laughs>